Tan Tan really looked, looked after, after himself. himself. He'd been given people in the gym, you know, do this, you know, it's better for you. Eat healthy, make sure you look after yourself, you get plenty of exercise. He travelled the world. He, went, he sang in so many cathedrals. They were going to do an audience with the Pope. He was on the all together now by the, with the farm, singing on that. He'd come up and we'd have a jam on the guitars and we'd bass. he bought me a bass for my last birthday. And he, he had a really sort of dry sense of humour, you know. Having the opportunity to be able to be there um, was traumatic but reassuring to us that no one could work as hard as, um, as Dad and I to make sure that we tried to prolong his life. Dan would be sitting up there somewhere jamming with Prince. He'd be proud, wouldn't he? Yeah. Very proud. All three of us over the year were fitted with defibs. Unfortunately for me, I was one in 10,000 who um, the, the wire had come out and gone through my heart. My lungs were filling up with blood and I was critical. I've got a, a job I love, uh, medically discharged because of this. But the fire service are fantastic, you know, they're our family. Um, and I'll be back. People say, oh, it's just work, it's just a job, but it's more than that. You know, on top of everything else, it's another tragedy as a family. But it's not the end, it just means the skills I've got I can take forward. Something really positive that you'd be so proud of us all to take part in. Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, oh yeah. my God. Oh my God. Thank God. We've heard uh, two very inspirational people, and we wanted to come personally and, and hand this over. And we know you've had a, a very tough time as a family, and you know, he's an inspiration to everyone. So, yeah, yeah, of course we can. I looked up and seen Gilvy and Seamus and I just nearly fell over. Oh my God, what's going on? You know, I couldn't believe in our, in our house and, and just just giving us that, that extra support and, you know, just, just cementing what community is about, which is what Everton's all about. It's all about community. It just knocked me over. I knew it meant a lot to them because yeah. I, could, I could see it in the, their eyes and they took time out of their massive busy schedule over Christmas to highlight something that is so personal but so is going to be so valuable towards our community. So for that, I really thank you guys. And yeah. them for thank you, Everton. Yeah. Actually, first, probably five seconds, I didn't think he kind of registered with them, but uh, then obviously afterwards they... They realised, and it was, um, it was nice to come here. Obviously, to see what, what they've been doing in the community, it's been it's been fantastic. It's fantastic. Um, little extra gift from the from the club, obviously it would be nice for them to come to the game and and hopefully um, they'll enjoy it, who will win the game and, and score a few goals for them. All the people now that Everton can get involved in, going to first aid, promoting CPR and how to use a defib, we've started the process and the process is going to grow and our area is just going to be a much safer place knowing that we can get to people and they can get to us yeah and Dan you know we'll raise a glass to you on New Year's Eve and go 
Everton in the community, the fire service yeah. and everyone else who's been involved, the players in this are raising a blast and maybe thinking a little thought of you tonight, you know, as anniversary of his death, yeah. that this year has not been in vain. Yeah. This year is promoting that we need to do something about our young people and everyone else involved, an aged community to protect them as much as we can. <laughs>